me is Talia Reese. <laughs> Talia has graduated from our BSN program, summa cum laude, with the highest GPA in the class. Talia. Woo! Woo! Good evening. When I was asked to speak tonight, panic immediately set in as I worried I'd have nothing to say. For those of you that know me very well, the speechless space didn't last very long. As I thought back over the last two years of nursing school, it doesn't seem possible that we finally reached the finish line. I couldn't help but think back to first semester on our first day of clinical. We all were in our brand new galaxy blue scrubs, loaded down with our scissors, CPR masks, stethoscopes, and shining white shoes, terrified our patients would hate us when they realized how clueless we really were. When we first entered the patient's rooms, our knees and our voices were always shaking. We perfected our assessment skills that semester through vital signs, CPEs, and we learned how to give an awesome bed bath. <laughs> As we entered second semester, the feeling that we were finally acting to act like real nurses began. We couldn't believe our instructors actually trusted us enough to start IVs on real people and give medication. We thought we were thrilled when we got to leave the floor to go to the OR or to the GI lab. And then there was psych clinical. I think I could sum up that rotation in four words. Never a dull moment. The most memorable aspect of second semester for me was the day of orientation for that rotation. Coach Gray informed us that we were, did not have to wear our galaxy blue scrubs and we were allowed to wear professional dress. I rejoiced on the inside until another student asked her what shoes we should wear. She responded, whatever you can run fastest in. I really wish she was kidding. We attended self-defense classes the next week. Third semester came quickly as we entered a whole new realm of caring for tiny babies and unborn babies. P's and OB challenged everything we thought we knew about what was normal and abnormal. It was amazing to see babies be born and be given the opportunity to assist in their care. The best moment of OB for me was seeing the male students come out after completing their bubble he assessments. Their faces were always priceless. At the end of third semester, we felt pretty good knowing we only had fourth semester left of new content. After all, previous students had assured us second semester was the hardest. I wish I knew all their names today. <laughs> Message two was definitely an awesome reminder that we still had a lot to learn about nursing and patient care. Every ounce of confidence that we had developed up to that point was put to the test when we learned how to titrate meds, interpret EKGs, and manage ventilators. For most, you either realize how much you've loved ICU or devastated that you had to go. Then there was community health. I love that we were able to go out into local neighborhoods and see the various aspects of nursing. We were able to clean the feet of homeless men and administer insulin to school-aged diabetic children. However, the best part of fourth semester was knowing that we never had to do another nursing care plan form. The overnighters were over as we entered our leadership in our, our own preceptor. So here we are tonight, after completing five semesters of grueling coursework and countless hours of clinical. I think I can speak for everyone when I say our lives are to be complete and not ever seeing another PowerPoint slide. We can now go out and find our dream jobs, watch TV guilt-free, and even go out to dinner if you want. It's now safe to let all of your family know that it's okay to invite you over again, and no, you will not bring notes or podcasts. You're officially allowed to have a life. I wanted to take a moment and personally thank Lowenberg for allowing me to return to nursing school after moving overseas. Going through this program with a husband and two small children under the age of five, my experience is a little bit different than other people. However, I'm standing here that it's proof that it's never too late to go back to college and achieve your goals. I'm so grateful to have had this opportunity. To all of you guys, it was wonderful getting to know you, and I'm very proud to be graduating with such an intelligent class. The support from one another has carried us from that first semester of terrified people in perfect scrubs to today, where we sit as well-rounded, caring, competent, and excellent nurses. Thank you. <laughs>